Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and today is August 17th, 2024, and I am in St. Petersburg, Florida to see the Tampa Bay Rowdies take on Loudoun FC. I came here earlier to check out one of the team's shops, so let's check that out next. Here are their hours. They're closed on Sundays and Mondays. They're open every other day from 10 to 4. Except for on game days, they're open from 10 to 3. And then the game, you can come in during the game. Let's check out the Bay Republic. So they do have a collection of pins. They actually have one for the stadium. So I will get the Al Lang Stadium. And it does have the Tampa Bay Rowdies logo in it. This is a unique stadium. So. I'm definitely gonna get this. What does C O Y R mean? Come on, you routes. Okay, okay. They come on, you routes. So there you go. Oh man, look at this. This is vintage with the NASL logo and everything. You guys are actually selling this? Yeah, we have a couple of the old ones. Oh, I, okay. I have to get that. I have to. Three bucks. Come on. Come on. TBR, Tampa Bay Rowdies, right? Yep. Look at these hats. Oh, look at the classic. What's the What's the guy with the mustache's name? He's got to have a name. Ralph. What is it? Ralph. Yeah, both. Ralph? Both the old logo and the new one are both Ralph. They're just different iterations uh, of them. Oh, Roe. Roe, okay. So, like, Roe from Rowdies. Gotcha. Very interesting. A kick in the grass. <laughs> I love it, man. And here is their full kit with scarf, their home kit for this season. So they were founded in 1975 and then refounded in 2010. Yep. That's what the 75 and 10 indicate. Yeah, they were original NASL club. They'd have a, a good rivalry with Orlando. They did when the, Orlando was still in the USL. Get a hat with the mustache on it. <laughs> These polos, the classic. Um, this is the classic kit right here, the yellow and the green stripes. Not sure what Dex Imaging is, but Puma is their kit supplier. Every team in the USL has their own. You know, in MLS, it's all Adidas. But this is the store that's open. They have a bigger tent that's open during the game. I'll take you in there during the game, but just giving you an idea of what they have here. All right, I got a uh, cinch sack with the Rowdies logo and that vintage button and that pen that I showed you. So um, there's another team store um, during the game. So we'll show you that when I'm in there, but let's go inside the stadium. Here's the calm before the storm. Everyone getting ready for the match tonight here at Al Lang Stadium. This was a baseball stadium. They said it was mainly used for spring training games. I think some, the Rays played here a little bit, but unique for a soccer field. So there you go. Here is the pitch for tonight. They do have some bleachers out here. They're opening a little early tonight because of... Uh, like a little party party area that they have but this is I'll get some shots from down here I'll get to move around I just can't be right behind the goals and I can't be um, on the sideline with their benches which are over here I think but they they have some party areas down here in the old dugout that's pretty cool and I think they come out right here this is uh, where they come out this is well, the home team comes out because it's the home, the home bullpen, the home dugout, the home dugout and the clubhouse. And that's the visiting clubhouse over there. So um, I guess their benches are over here. Let's see. There's an airport right over there, too. It's a small airport. Who gets this kind of access? Uh, I'd like to thank the Rowdies for letting me come out here. So I guess they use the dugout as their benches. I don't know. That can't be right. 
They got all the snacks. I, they can't be right. I don't know where their benches are. I think they have. Oh, they're on the other. I don't know. Okay, the player benches are over here on this side with these bleachers. And then this is the big team store on this side, much bigger than the one I went to earlier. And they've got some, uh, some pizza out here. And it's just a uh, party area, private hospitality zone, fire and rescue people. And they got a tiki bar up here. <laughs> they got a mini tiki bar as part of the stadium. You can see uh, where they're cleaning over there. That gentleman is cleaning the standing room section. Stand, you know, the supporters groups will stand there. Very interesting layout for a soccer stadium. You have some seats, you have some benches. That lady's walking on the pitch. I would never, I would never. But yeah, so, they weren't using this for baseball anymore, so they're using it for soccer, and they, they did a great job. I can't wait to see the match. Let's go back outside and try to meet some fans. I, I, didn't, I didn't do that earlier. It's the soccer zombie, Tom Franklin, in the, per, in, in the flesh. What's up, Tom? Hey, what's going on, Robbo, man? Uh, just got here, man. Uh, can't beat this weather, man. This is, this is, it's so rare to be in Tampa in August, and the humidity is basically non-existent. Yeah, this dude was sending me uh, shirtless pictures from the beach earlier. Come on, bro. Oh, gosh, God. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? Got to show off the guns. Got to show off the guns. You're, you don't get down, go down to Florida every day, you know? So, uh, dude, I'm here with you. What are you looking forward to in this match tonight? You know, I've heard a lot of good things about going to Rowdy's games. You know, I've heard the fans are really hyped. I'm really curious to see how they've converted a former spring training baseball stadium into use for soccer. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a good game. The Rowdies are having a very good year this year, and uh, I'm expecting, uh, expecting big things from them today. All right. Well, yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> So we've got the photographers and Tom, the soccer zombie. We're getting some players coming in for the match, wearing their pregame uniforms. <laughs> Putting up the banners before the match. Soccer zombies getting an interview with uh, someone from the Rouse mob. You're good. You're good. Get, they're fine. Guy, uh, they've got a like a leader, like a. A uh, cheerleader. What would you call that? Ralph's Mob is the official uh, supporters group. There's another group. Um, they don't have their banners out here yet. But defend Al Lang. You can see uh, the refs are out here checking out the goals, making sure it's all good. I I knew they do that, but I've never actually seen it. They are pro refs, and there's an there is an airport right there for small planes, private planes. So we see all kinds of planes taking off. You see the marina over there. It's going to be a cool atmosphere. All right, I'm back in the team store. I am in the big team store. We've got uh, it's just a bigger version of the store I was in earlier. So I'm not going to bore you too much. There's a couple of things they don't have like shorts. And uh, the goalkeeper's jerseys, some of the mascot uh, plushes over there, but uh, pretty, it's, it's pretty much the same. So you can go to the team store during the day, or you can go to this team store during the game and find plenty of cool merchandise. Uh, Lang is a smoke and vape free facility. Thankfully, that stuff is gross. Don't do it, guys. But they do serve wine. V I don't know what that wine's about. They serve pizza. They serve uh, beer, beer and uh, soft drinks over here. As any soccer stadium, this guy's getting some five dollar. It's five dollar Bud Light night. Is that a good? Is that a good deal? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Look at this dude double fisting. Dude, five dollars and <laughs> is, I would, uh, five dollars for 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 the tall 
aluminum bottles is impressive. Like, is it? The is ad- it though, really? The ad- well, you, compared to you know the typical American sports experience, yes, it is. Okay, that's probably like fifteen dollars. Yeah, about th- it's about th- it's thirteen forty nine in St. Louis for one of these. Should you be drinking while you're working? No comment. <laughs> is it? There's Penny. There's Penny and Pete. Penny is the lady. Pete is the man. Mascot Pelican. <laughs> Doing a little dance. How nice. So we're taking a look at some of these seats here. Here's the seats and the benches. We're just going to hang out here for a minute. Hopefully we don't get copyright notice from the speakers up there. But look at this view. Look at this amazing view. This is awesome place to watch a game. All right, the players are coming out to warm up. We still have about 30 minutes until the game starts at 7 o'clock. Jordan Farr is the starting goalkeeper. There he is in blue. That's my guy. To victory! To victory! Wait, to victory! Right there. It's right there. To victory for the both of us. Absolutely. It says it right there. we we got to do it. We've got to get a Rowdy's win. Here is here is the layout. Here's the layout of the stadium. But we got we, we still have about 30 minutes of the game starts, so let's do a hashtag walking segment through the concourse. Some restrooms. See the guys warming up on the video screen up there. And we've so, already hit the end of the concourse tour because this is the end of the concourse. Well, no, oh, it's kind of broken up. Over. It's kind of broken up. There we go. So what are the concession prices, Tom? Yeah, Do they even... There's the, there's the bar menu. So there you go. You can get another, another Bud Light for five bucks. Hot dogs are $6.49. Peanuts are $4.99. Popcorns are $8.99. And nachos. Nachos and cheese. Nachos have to have cheese. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Water, five bucks. Water should be free, but it's bottled fancy water. So some of some of the great players in Rowdy's history, the 100 match club, so players that have played 100 matches for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Tampa Bay Rowdies were the were in the NASL. They were in the NPSL. Now they are in the USL. So here's their whole history. 1974. 2016, and they joined uh, the United Soccer Leagues in 2017. So they went away for a little bit, but they came back in 2010. They went from, so from 90. They've had a couple of different. They were the in, American Indoor Soccer Association. They've bounced around leagues. Maybe you'll see them in the MLS one day. They'd, they'd have a great rivalry with Orlando. When they play each other in like open cup matches, it's a. Uh, I hear it's a it's a great event. But so, you know, just your standard stuff. There you go, foster care, Grand Central Brew House. You get some more beers there. You know, it's a sporting event. You got get some cookie advertisements. Lewis Hilton is one of the players. And there's a here's the cookie stand. Wow, monster monster stuff cookies eight bucks. Look at that. I'm not doing it. There's there's my guy right there, Jordan Farr. He is starting tonight. He is starting. I am not buying a cookie. So there you go. They're getting an actual location other than than this location soon. Hashtag walking. No smoking. You will be ejected. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. Wait, there's mo- monster stuff cookies. That's what they look like right there. They're on Instagram. <laughs> so Tom's getting a cookie. He's doing it. 
Dude, I cannot resist monster stuffed cookie. I have to find out what this is all about. And you know what? I was just telling Rob, you know, I have lost a lot of weight lately. This might undo a little bit of that, <laughs> but that's okay because you know what? Every now and then, as 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 a good job, you gotta have, you gotta celebrate a little bit. And sometimes a cookie has to be your dinner. <laughs> all right. So Tom, go. eat the damn cookie, Tom. You, here we go. This is this is. You had a, an hour-long interview with the uh, with the with the cookie mama, the cookie fueled mama. An hour? Time, fl time flies when you have five dower Bud yeah. Lights, definitely. But this yeah. is the Rowdy's biggest fan cookie, and I'm break gonna it see. In half. Break it in half. Oh, we break it in half. You know what? You, you, you gotta get that ooey gooey. Uh, right. I'm gonna do it in slow mo. There we oh go. my it's god! Bad. Oh my god! So you're gonna go. see, and you're gonna watch Tom eat this time instead of me. Mm. Is it the best cookie in your life? It's up there. <laughs> it is definitely up there. It's warm. It's gooey. It's it, it's a warm. Uh, it's like a sugar cookie. Yeah. And it is fantastic. <laughs> and I'm talking with my mouth full because that's. <laughs> look at that. Look at that zoom in action right there. Look at that. So going back to the end of the stadium, you can see the bay out here. See all the boats? This is a, a theater, and then right beyond that is the Dolly Museum. I went that today. I went to that today. You'll see that on the channel later this week. Guys, here they are coming out with their mascots. He's got the ball with the refs. There's the Loudon. So they're playing a remix, Pirates of the Caribbean theme, to start the game. It's a beautiful night. Saturday night in St. Petersburg, Florida. About to kick off 15 seconds away. This game is broadcast live on ESPN Plus. A lot of the USL uh, championship games are. So if you uh, want to follow these guys. So... Here we go, we're, defend we're defending this half. Let's go, one, two, three, win! He's looking at his watch. It's time. Blow the whistle, bro. Oh, look at him. There we go. And we've got football in St. Petersburg, Florida. Already a foul. <laughs> We've already got the smoke going. It's the start of the game. Easy, easy work for Jordan Farr there. So Cookie, cookie Fueled Mama sponsors the corner kicks. That's so crazy. That's that's awesome. They, they seem like really nice people. Tom enjoyed his cookie from them. Jordan Farr, he's like in midfield. I don't like when goalkeepers come out that far. So first corner corner kick of the game for Tampa. Tampa Bay Rowdies. Come on. We're in the sixth minute here. What's up? Oh, oh! Well, hey, he was on the other side. At least they had somebody posted up on the other side. I hate when teams don't do that. So they're still working. 
still on the attacking end. Sends it in. It's Loudon's on the attack. Now, if you look at the uh, Loudon FC uniforms, you think, man, they look like a, a lot like DC United. That is because they are affiliated with DC United. They, um, they were using them like as an MLS Next Pro team, but now they have an MLS Next Pro team. So it's just more of their reserve players. So they, they definitely cannot play each other in the Open Cup unless it gets down to like the final, which no, neither team has made it that far. But, oh! Yikes. Uh, all right, I moved up to the seats. Above the uh, Ralph's Ralph's Mob or whatever they're called, Jordan Farge made a kick save. Loudon just had a corner kick, and it is uh, going down the field. <laughs> Goal! In the 23rd minute. No, no, it's called off. Oh, it's offsides. It's offsides. Everyone's pissed off. No goal. No goal. Everyone has to sit down. They were uh, they were excited for a minute. I was excited for a minute. That sucks. They're, they're showing the replay is offside. All right, 29th minute. Tampa Bay has a free kick, and they convert it. Black and yellow card issued in the 28th minute to number 22, Robbie Dambrock. Yep. No, straight to the keeper. No, in the 34th minute, Mount United scores. It's a bad uh, defending there from Tampa Bay. Well, there, the, there is the first half. Loudon one, the Tampa Bay the zero. zero. Loudon United FC. Okay, one. What, yeah, what that guy just said. All right, it's halftime here, Tom. What do you think? You know, that's footy. Rowdy's had the ball in Loudon's zone the whole entire half. They had how many shots, and they couldn't get one in except one that was called back. And now we're going into halftime with the Rowdies down one to nil because Loudon converted their one chance. Again, that's footy for you. But you know what? A whole second half to play. Yep. Still 45 minutes plus stoppage time, baby. Oh. All right. Tampa is going to be a Tampa Bay is going to be attacking this end this time, and uh, Loudon will be attacking the other end. So hopefully we get some goals on this side. Second half just about to start. And second half action. We gotta at least tie the game. All right, Roddy's got a corner. They made a substitution. They got a corner. I don't know who that is, but some people in the crowd know. All right, they're sending it up. And he goes out. Tampa had a defender back there. Can they send it back in? Man. Now 
that was bad. Uh, the Tampa Bay uh, attackers just rammed right into the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's a. It was a second yellow. Uh, second yellow card is a red card issue. It, it could have been a straight. It could have been a straight. Yeah, red card. To be honest with you. Yikes. So. Uh, so he's going towards the locker room now. Not good. And he's he's down. He's probably gonna have to come out. That was that was bad. Now Tampa Bay is playing the rest of the match. Man down. They're a goal down. Not looking good for the home team. Well, in the 69th minute, Loudon scored a second one. Up a man. It was it was actually a really good goal. Um, he headed it in. Blouty right goal past uh, the 69th minute by number 14, Far. Zach Ryan. It's hard when you're down a man. So uh, now in the 70th minute, Loudon's up two to nothing. Here's the the replay on the screen. Nice pass header. Oh, that was pretty sick. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, great goal. Great goal. It's easier when you have an extra player, too. Or the other team has less players. So regardless of the outcome, Ralph's mob continues to cheer as they should. Standing and cheering for the whole 90 minutes. Regardless of the outcome, any supporters group should. So good for them. Big save. Tampa Bay is still trying. Corner kick from them. It's so funny that the uh, cookie lady sponsors the corner kicks. That's hilarious. Level shots here to the end of the game. Oh, it. Ah. All right, they're trying to make a move. Oh, they're making some moves with the man down. It's pretty impressive. There's still over ten. There's ten minutes plus stoppage time. Again, they're a man down, and they're still. They're still going for it. I mean, you have to. You have to. You have to try to win no matter what. So They don't look like they're a man down right now. They're moving the ball forward. They keep moving the ball forward. Whoa. Yeah, and that's just, that's just what happens when you're down a man. It's hard to keep possession. It's hard to keep possession. So we're in stoppage time now. Loudon's getting a yellow card. Loudon yellow card issued in the 91st minute to number 30, Abdul Latif Abdul Yeah, so. Attention fans, the clock has stopped at 90 minutes and official time is being kept on the field. How much time are they at it? The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of six minutes of Six minutes. Right Just ended already. That's cruel and unusual punishment. I don't know, I guess it gives the Rowdies a chance to uh, score a couple of goals. Down a man. That would be a miracle. Oh. Oh. I think people were crying for a card there. Or a penalty kick. They tried to make it three. Tried to. All right, it's a corner kick, sponsored by the cookie lady. And uh, it's going the other way. 
There, there's the final whistle. That, that's the final whistle. Two to nothing, Loud United. The home team loses. Gave up two goals, lost a player. Won't be able to play the next game because of the red card. Oh well. Can't win them all, guys. So next Saturday, they they host Detroit City FC, who I've seen a couple times already this year. So if you're in the Tampa Bay area, Detroit Detroit City's not been playing too well. So. It might be a good opportunity to see the Tampa Bay Rady, Rowdies win that match. I want to thank the Rowdies for having me out. Look, this is the field. This is me. I'm wearing a vest. They didn't have to. They don't know who I am. So it, it was spe very special for me to be able to be here um, as press. It's great to see Jordan Farr. It wasn't his fault the two goals um, happened. The first goal was bad defense. The second goal was just a great goal. It's hard to defend when you're down a man. So, still a great player. Still, I'm still a fan of his. And um, that's it from, I don't know. Maybe the, that, that might not be it. If, the, if you see the video still longer, then there's more to come. So. Yes, uh, I did get to speak to Jordan Farr. Um, I did not want to talk to him on camera. Uh, Tom shot that footage of me talking to him. Uh, I, did, I didn't even know, but thanks Tom for shooting it. And thanks, thanks Soccer Zombie for letting me join you. A no, absolutely. And, I mean, uh, this was, you know, football is better with friends. Yeah, so, and we're gonna go see another match tomorrow. We're gonna see uh, the Tampa Bay Sun FC take on Dallas Trinity. First ever USL Super League match for both teams. First ever match in Tampa Bay Suns history. And I think before the game, we're going to be going to the stadium in style because we might be taking a ferry to the stadium. Thanks for hijacking my... <laughs> Oh, did I blow it? Yeah, it's okay. It's oh, all right. It's all right. It's no. all right. You, see, you'll have to watch that. You'll have to watch that to see how that goes and to see how the women play. Um, if they play better... You know I'm from Houston. I got to root against Dallas. Nothing against the players or anything. It's just how it is. Um, again, this was a game they played. It didn't go their way. They'll come back next week and play Detroit. Uh, J Jordan Farr, I still love him as a goalkeeper. He's my guy. Um, it was cool for me to talk to him at the end there. Again, thank you, Tom, for getting that footage. Um, I won't tell you what we said, but it, he appreciated it. So I, I appreciated him letting me tell him what I told him. So there you go. So it was a happy, happy ending, I guess, sort of. Yeah. I mean, it's a long season. They, they're still like third or fourth in the table. They'll, they'll be in the playoffs. Yeah. So, and we were warned before the game that Loud United plays Tampa Bay pretty well. So, I mean, I guess we should have expected this maybe. So if you're in the Tampa St. Pete area, come to a Rowdies game. The Rowdies are a lot of fun. And thanks again to Jake for hooking both of us up. Um, if you haven't done so, check out Tom's video. It's going to come out in a couple days. It's going to look a lot more polished, but oh, but on. but still, it's going to be really good. So so after you watch mine, a couple days, go watch his. Give him a subscribe too if while you're at it. It's so, only it's only going to look more polished because I got a lot more shots of downtown at sunset and then the bay as well. He he's a fancy lad, Fa fancy schmancy. So all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.